Right. Morning, everyone. Sunday morning. Right on time, we're going to start. So we'll start with Nadi Shodana again, and you'll understand why. I want to continue with this as we go through the, the Absolute World Bee course. So just bring fingers down into the palm, just use the thumb and the ring finger. Block right in hold. Left, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Block right, exhale, left. Continue through your own time. And what I'll get you to do is once you're ready, so we're going to do this for a couple of minutes. So once you're ready, just do a kumbhaka in the middle, which is a holding pattern. So if you're breathing in through left, just block both sides before you release the other side. So block both sides, hold for two or three seconds and then release. Try and hold for four if you can. That depth, depth of the breath. It's really nice to practice your focus just on the breath. And just start noticing how you start relaxing even more, just how calm you become. And then when you're ready, just release, bring the hands onto the knees and then just move through deep breathing through both nostrils. And then just relax, all efforts will come into the first pose. So what we're going to do, being the Sunday class is nice, easy poses. We're going to start with deer pose. So we're going to do the deer flow. So just bring the left knee down, the right knee comes underneath the left foot. Top of the foot, the top of the right foot, if you can, is on the floor. Okay, so then just straighten yourself up. You can have a bolster or a block or a cushion in front of you. We're going to do forward bend first. So when you're ready, just inhale, length through the spine, so chin up, chest up, and just come forward. So keep that chin up, keep looking up as high as you can look up. It's going to lengthen through the spine. If you want to open the hips a little bit more, you can drop that right knee away, just depending on what you need. And just coming into the pose. So this is the deer flow pose. So we're doing four different poses from this position.
and just continue with that focus of the breath. So what we're doing in Nadi Shagana, just continue through that sort of focus on the breath. Just remember if you're moving, if you're folding forward and you're moving towards the knee that's away from the body, it's just the tight around the hips. So eventually your body's going to come straight. So continually work towards that mentally. So continually work towards thinking about coming to that position. So the more you start straightening the body up, the hips are open and you can get deeper into the glute eventually with this pose. You just got a minute to go, so continue focus on the breath. With every inhale, we're lengthening through the spine, so it's the crown of the head lengthening. So you imagine that going as far forward as possible and then push through the hips, so the tailbone through that area on the next side. So this flow that we're doing now is, is all about lengthening the spine. It's lengthening the spine. We've got a 20 minute yoga nidra, so it should be Lengthen the spine to be comfortable in yoga nidra. And when you're ready, slowly come up. So the next part will come into a twist. Okay, so we're going to twist to the left hand side. Okay, so Remember and straighten yourself, so straighten up, then twist, and then come around to the left. You can have a bolster if you like, or a cushion, or a block, or just come straight to the floor. If you're not ready for the floor, just work your way down slowly. So you just work your way down. If you're on your hands, then work your way down to one elbow, maybe two. So continually work your way down. You want that right hip to be feeling like it's coming over. So then you're getting that twist in the lumbar spine. This series here is quite simple, but really effective. And it's a really uh, good process to put yourself through. Focusing on the breath. So you just over halfway through. 
So your breath should be really nice and you should be getting that depth of the inhale. And just release that exhale a lot slower. So the last 40 seconds. slowly, slowly untwist. And we're going to keep the left hand side and just bring our left hand just away from the body onto the floor. I'm going to push our hips up. So push the hips up and out, then reach up and over. So we want that stretch down that hip there and up the side body. Keep pushing the hips forward. Push the hips forward a little bit more, reach as far as you can go. And then exhale, come down. So the last part of it is well, sort of a back, well, it is a back bend, but it's more a stretch of the quad, so the right quad. So just work your way back, this way. Work your way back until you get that stretch in the quad. And if that's as far as you want to go, just stay there. You might want to come all the way back. You might want to cushion behind you. Whatever it is, just getting yourself into that position where that right quad is stretching. You don't want the knee lifting off the floor. Or if that's the case, you've gone too far. So just come back a little bit. And you'll just feel that quad stretching. The further you go back, the deeper you get into your back. Just release that quad first. Just focus on the breath here. If you're all the way back, bring the shoulder blades together, chin to chest. If you're halfway back, just work towards the chest. So just bring that chin to chest. So now just bring the focus or the awareness on the mind and the breath. So just bring the, the mind to the breath. So bring, bring the mindfulness to the depth of the inhale. So continually work that depth of the inhale. The reason we want to do that is we want to really work the lungs. We get those lungs stretched, We're trying to use the capacity of the lungs instead of using a, a portion of it like we normally do.
Are you ready? Slowly work your way back up. Then we're going to switch sides. So just switch completely to the other side. So just try and remember these poses and it's a really nice way. If you've just got a little bit of time and you just want to relax and stretch. This is, these are really nice poses. So, so the first one is forward bend on this side and you'll feel the difference in the sides. It's tight on this side, so I'm gonna feel that difference of coming forward. But when you come forward, make sure the chin up, chest up, bring the hands forward and just keep looking up and you'll feel that you can really start manipulating those hips a little bit to where you come down onto the floor. And if you're moving to the, the right towards the knee, you can still do that by just trying to bring that rib cage on the inside of the knee. And then it'll start working, you'll feel that in the glute, and it'll start working you around to the centre. Or some once you're there, just start working on breath and just be comfortable with where you are. So, it doesn't matter how far forward you are, if you're leaning all the way to the right, <clears throat> if you're dead straight, it makes no difference because what we've got to work on is the same thing that's the awareness of the breath. So, that it doesn't change. So, don't worry about the physical aspect, aspect of it. And yoga is all about the mind. Okay, so we think in the West that it is the physical aspect, but it's not. It's actually all about the mind. So the only reason we do the physical stuff is so we can have our body relaxed with positive energy flowing through. So Ayurveda takes over into the body part of it. So with a combination of both, you really work some good positive ways in, in clearing mind and body um, stagnation. I learned this particular flow at um, the yoga therapy hospital in Nasik in India where I was working. And this is what they did for a therapy for an hour. Um, they just did this. It was just beautiful. I just had to keep doing it and learn it and teach it. It's really nice. So when you're ready, slowly come up. We're going to twist to the right hand side. Okay, so lengthen. Hands on the ground and twist and work your way around. So just while, you, while your, your spine's length and work your way around to how far you can go and then come down. Not the other way around. By flopping yourself down and realising you've gone too far. So you want that left hip to be coming over. You want to feel that left hip coming over the top. You want to feel that stretch in the lower part of the spine.
getting that stillness. And just focusing on the breath. Funny when I learned this this sequence, the teacher was um, so I was under her for a few days, and she didn't speak a word of English. She just spoke Hindi, so I just follow. And but when we're in all these poses, every couple of seconds, and what felt like it, she would just say ah, Shavasana. And I'm just thinking, why does she keep saying Shavasana? So I'm thinking I've got to get up and flip myself over, and then she just say and Shavasana. And so I asked one of the people who could speak English, and she just was using the word shavasana because she thinks she should be like in dead man's pose, which is what shavasana means. Every time you get into a pose, you've got to find that space, you've got to find that stillness, you've got to find the calmness, and that's what you do in shavasana. So it took me a while to work that one out. Twenty seconds to go on this side. So anytime you get in these poses, just find that place, find that place of stillness and complete relaxation. That's where the healing is happening. When you're ready, slowly coming up. So we'll do the side stretch now. So when you come up, make sure you untwist completely and then bring the hand back, the right hand back. Then we're going to push the hips up and forward and lift that left arm up and over. So this could be, you've got a tight shoulder, just watch yourself because you're pushing down heavy on your, your wrist here. So just be careful. But just try and push those hips forward and reach over as much as you can. And feel the best stretch you can in that left hip, the top of the left hip. Or even the hip flexors, the front there, and then Shavasana. And then slowly release, coming back down. And moving into the back bend. So working your way back, and making sure, just remember all we're after really is the stretch in the left quad now. So work your way back. To get into as comfortable as possible, have things behind you if you need them, or just on your elbows, on your back. Make sure that left knee isn't raising off the floor. If it is, just regress the pose, come back a little bit. If you're on the floor, shoulder blades together, chin towards chest. If you're working your way back, chin towards chest if you're, if you're still off the floor. The birds here this morning are really on song. I haven't stopped singing for probably the last hour. It's what it was. Just breathe and like keep focusing on that deep inhale. But as you exhale, just feel yourself just relaxing into the pose that little bit more. Continually feel that relaxation as you're going deeper and deeper. And you control that with your breath.
Just 30 seconds to go. And then you're ready, slowly work your way up, coming up back to that seated position. And then flip yourself over and come into crocodile pose. So coming into prone position on your stomach, bring the, the feet out wide, toes come out, heels point in. Stack the hands and just bring the forehead to the hands. Just relax in this position. So that with a bit of breathing and just that complete um, deep flow, it's nearly half an hour. So that's a, it's pretty much, you can do that and your day will just feel so awesome just after doing that. But the next few poses will be really nice. You're ready for the mini drum. So when you're ready, bring your feet together and just come into Sphinx pose. So just Release the hands, bring the elbows onto the floor. The elbows are underneath the shoulders. Bring the shoulder blades together. Just push chest forward and up. So you should feel that rib cage pushing forward and up, and that's gonna give you that really nice stretch. We're not here for long. Just one stretch through that back. And then when you're ready, just relax the back, bring the forehead to the floor, and then help yourself up onto all fours. We're gonna have a bit of a stretch for the shoulder. So you can keep the hands where they are. I always bring my hand into the middle, the one that's gonna hold me. So make sure your wrists are underneath the shoulders at first, so you're on all fours. And what I try and do, because I like to twist in this, is I bring um, my left hand into the middle of me and then bring the right hand up. And then you're stacking the shoulders because if we do it the other way, you're not stacking the shoulders, so you're not opening your chest. So this is actually the correct way to do it, is bring that hand into the middle, stack the shoulders. So re release up as much as you can go. And then what you're gonna do is try and stack the shoulders the other way. So bring the arm under and bring the shoulder down behind the wrist. And so you're in the middle there again and then bring that left arm up and over if you like, or you can just place it down on the floor. Okay, so that, when you're in a yoga class and a lot of teachers are still keeping your hands apart, just slide it across. You're gonna get so much more out of the pose. Nice this pose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> working that chest open up a little bit. The last 20 seconds. Okay. 
When you're ready, just bring the, le the left hand down onto the floor. Try and bring it close to the head there somewhere. And then reach up with that right arm. Reach up as much as possible. Now just bring the right palm to the lower back. Push it down on the lower back and then just open that chest. So just bring those shoulder blades to stack on top of each other. And then come back to centre. Switch the hand, so make sure that right hand's in the middle now. And then inhale, lift that left arm up. On underneath. Dropping that shoulder down just behind the right wrist. And then you can just move the, the right hand away, bring the head down there. We can bring the right hand up and around and twisting. The eventual, what we're trying to do in this pose is to open the chest up and stack the shoulders. We want the shoulders to be in line. And we want the chest to open. Last five seconds. And slowly start coming out of the pose to so bring the right hand back down to the floor near the face there and just lift up that left arm more the way up. Holding there and then bring the left arm to the lower back, push into the lower back and twist as much as you can. And then slowly come out of the pose. We're going to stay on all fours and we're going to come into cat-cow. Okay, so we've got a couple of minutes of cat cow. So I want you just to go through your own pace. Just working, inhale, chin away from the chest, exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, belly button towards the floor. Exhale, belly button towards the spine. So just continue through, you might want to go really slow and have you know five or six breaths in every pose, you might just want to flow through with each breath. Just feel the relaxation now in the body, just feel that movement, that stagnant energy which was causing stiffness or compression this morning. Always just focus on that breath. Once you once your, your spine moving and flowing, I'll just do it normally. Just be mindful of the breath. Be mindful of deepening that breath. Neutral position. Then we're going to flip ourselves over onto our backs and we'll move into the final pose before yoga nidra. So we're just going to come in to thread the needle here. So 
just um, bend both knees up, bring the right foot onto the left thigh. And then just reach through. You can either grab behind the thigh or on top of the shin. Just depends on what sort of stretch you're after here. How you feel. If that's too much to grab through there, just keep the left foot on the floor and keep pushing that knee away, but keep bringing the heel, the left heel towards the buttocks. Just into that pose, stretching through the glute. Just reclining pigeon pose. It's a nice way to do is get a similar stretch to pigeon pose. Chin to chest, lengthen through that spine, we lengthen through the spine. Pretty much right the way through, through the session. So always just keep that tension on the field of stretch. So if it starts loosening off, you're feeling nothing. Push the right elbow up against the knee, the right knee, and bring. That thigh back towards the left thigh back towards the body. And when you're ready, just release and we'll just go to the other side. So bring that left foot on the right thigh, reach through, grabbing where you need to grab. To get the best stretch you can get today and just pull the thigh back as you push the knee away. It's going to straighten up the hips and give you a really nice stretch through the left glute. Chin to chest, belly button to spine, and just keep pulling through. Remember the focus on breath. Just the last few breaths here. And when you're ready, release. It's coming into Shavasana and just preparing for Yoga Nidra. It's a nice, short, but really powerful Yoga Nidra today. So just get yourself prepared yourself as comfortable as possible. Think about the resolve. Okay, so think about what you want to use as a resolve. So everyone should be nice and relaxed. I'm going to cut through a little bit of that relaxation um, talk to move into relaxing the body parts or, or the um, rotation of consciousness. So you're all relaxed now, just closing the eyes, just laying in Shavasana. So just take your awareness to the inside and begin to investigate the whole physical body. 
So just do that mentally yourself, just moving through different muscles, different joints. You do that by just relaxing the palms and then the fingers. You can go to the feet and the toes, just relax them. The ankles, the calf muscles, the knees, the thighs, the hamstring. And just work your way up the body, the buttocks, the back, the chest, the shoulders, arms and elbows, hands, head and neck. So relax the whole body. And just move through the body, finding any tight areas, and just release those tight areas. With a deep breath. And then a long, slow exhale. Now that you've cleared the body, you're as comfortable as you can be, there should be no more physical movement throughout the other eardrum. No matter what happens, you should not move the physical body. So let the whole body remain quiet. So now that you are relaxed, I'm going to move into the start of yoga. Nidra by just a short resolve that you've just made up previously. So that resolve, be it material, mental, or spiritual, anything that you want to bring into your life, just choose a short sentence. And just say that mentally to yourself three times. So now I'm going to guide you through different parts of the physical body one by one. I will take your consciousness to each part and every part of the physical body. At the same time, you visualize each part and repeat its name mentally to yourself. You are not going to make any physical movement. So move your consciousness to the right side. Move your body. Just visualize the right hand thumb and say mentally, right hand thumb. Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger. Now visualize all five fingers together. The palm of the hand, the back of the hand, wrist, the forearm. I'm guiding you along the right side. So visualize the right elbow. Upper arm, shoulder, armpit, right chest, side, waist, hip, buttocks, thigh, hamstring, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, the sole, the right foot, the top of the right foot, the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. All five toes together. So now take your consciousness to the left side. Just as we were visualizing the parts on the right side. Now we visualize those on the left. So start with the left hand thumb. Second finger, third finger, 
four finger, fifth finger, all five fingers together. Palm of the hand, back of the hand, the wrist, the forearm, the elbow, the upper arm, the shoulder, armpit, left chest, the side, the waist, the hip, the buttock, the thigh, hamstring, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of the left foot, top of the left foot, the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, all five toes together. So now, now move your consciousness to the right and left. We'll be moving from right to left. Starting at right, moving to left. So as I say, the parts alternately. So right sole, left sole, both soles together. Right heel, left heel, both heels together. Right ankle, left ankle, both ankles together. The right calf muscle, the left calf muscle, both calf muscles together. The right knee and the left knee, both knees together. The right thigh and the left thigh, both thighs together. The right hamstring, the left hamstring, both hamstrings together. The right buttock, the left buttock, both together. The right hip, the left hip, both hips together. The waist, the lower abdomen, upper abdomen, the whole of the abdomen. The right side of the chest, the left side of the chest, the whole chest. The right collarbone, the left collarbone, center, the collarbones, the throat. Right shoulder, left shoulder. Right arm, left arm. Right elbow, left elbow. Right hand, left hand. Right thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, all five fingers together. Palm of the hand, hand, back of the hand, left hand, thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, all five fingers together. Palm of the hand, back of the hand. The shoulders, the upper back, middle back, lower back. The right side of the back, the left side of the back, the whole of the spine. The back of the neck, the front of the neck, the whole neck. The chin. Lower lip, upper lip, both lips together. The teeth, the tongue. The right cheek, left cheek, both cheeks. Right nostril, left nostril, both nostrils. Tip of the nose, whole of the nose. Right eyelid, left eyelid. Right eyeball, left eyeball, both eyeballs together. Right eyebrow, left eyebrow. Eyebrow center. Right temple, left temple, forehead. Back of the head, crown of the head. The whole face, the whole head. The whole right arm, the whole left arm, the whole right leg, the whole left leg, the whole front, the whole back, the whole right side of the body, the whole left side of the body, the whole body together, the whole body together, the whole body together. Now bring your awareness to the breath. Feel the breath move in and out of the nostrils. Feel the coolness of the breath as you breathe in. Feel the warmth of the breath as you breathe out. Now we're going to count the breath. From 21 to zero. Inhale, 21. Exhale, 21. Inhale, 20. Exhale, 20. Inhale, 19. Exhale, 19. Now all the way down to zero. If you make a mistake, go back. The 21 and start again. 
get to zero, go back to 21 and start again. No mistakes, no sleeping, just counting and awareness of the breath. the awareness, counting in the breath. So go back to 21 and start again. No sleeping. You reach zero, go back to 21, start again. Mistakes. So now cease the counting. Just be aware of the breath and aware that you're practicing yoga nidra. Just awareness of the breath and awareness that you're practicing yoga nidra. Nothing else. So now that you're feeling more relaxed, just begin to create a picture in your mind. Imagine a positive self image. What does it mean to have a positive self image? Perhaps when you think of a positive self image, you envision confidence, self acceptance, good self esteem, or other characteristics. Imagine what positive self-image means to you. Self-image is a concept or an image you have of yourself. You see yourself in a positive way, have respect for yourself, and are content with who you are. You generally have a positive self-image. So okay to have areas you want to improve on and have things you want to change about yourself. Self-improvement is healthy. It's a process we all continue throughout life. Positive self-image allows you to like and respect yourself while striving to improve self-image. Negative, positive self image is reflected in self talk. If you criticize yourself or automatically assume negative things, this damages self image. On the other hand, if you make efforts to speak in more positive, more realistic terms, you can maintain positive self image. Healthy, positive self-image. Imagine, visualize that.
So relax the mind. And we'll move through rapid imagery. So any image that I mention, visualize and feel it emotionally. And move from image to image as fast as I go or slow. Imagine the sun shining, the sun shining through tall trees in the forest, beautiful gardens, flowers blooming. Foggy morning, a full moon, Buddha in meditation, a burning candle. Imagine, visualize a burning candle right in front of your eyes. Laughing with friends. Your reflection in the mirror. Visualize your reflection in the mirror. A path in the woods, a long path in the woods. Cool, clear water at the end of the path. Tall trees, flowers, and the sun shining through the tall tree. Foggy morning, a full moon, a red desert, waves, near the shore, the beach, a burning candle. Visualize the burning candle right in front of your eyes. Your reflection in the mirror. Your reflection in the mirror. Your positive self reflection in the mirror. A peacock feather. Sunshine, a red desert, full moon, foggy morning, cool, clear water, a warm embrace, a burning candle, half in the woods, a cat stretching, a beautiful garden, a monk sitting and meditating, a cat reposing. Peacock feather, your reflection in the mirror. So now get ready to end the practice. And remember your son Kalpa, where you resolve that you decided on at the beginning of the session. And repeat this mentally. Three, three times to yourself without opening your eyes. Become aware of your external environment. Hear the distant sounds. Now hear the sounds inside the room, inside the building. Visualize the building, the walls, the ceiling. Visualize yourself laying on the floor. Your body is laying on the floor. 
Visualize your body laying on the floor. It's time to come out of the spirit of Yoga Nidra and return to normal awareness. So when you feel you're fully awake, open your eyes, sit up slowly, and practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. Thank you, everyone.